I'm Marveline van der Merwe and I've been married, living, breathing. My whole existence is just photography for the past 30 years and I've been blessed to be able to do fabulous advertising campaigns, mainly beauty, fashion, mainly with people. What's very important to me because I work with people is to celebrate the human spirit. So first of all it's the interaction with the person we're shooting and then Style-wise, I liked styled simplicity. I never had a camera as a child. I met a photographic student, Marie Louise, who studied photography. And she said, come and help me. And I can't tell you, I and she shot a model. We stood there, I knew. I knew this is what I was meant to do. Because I could see everything I saw previously in my earlier life, like reflection, through leaves, shadows on walls. I never knew what that meant, but everything came together. And that's when I full steam went for it. They almost didn't want to accept me because I had no background. But I really worked hard and for the first time ever in my life I was first in a class and not getting a DOE. And our jobs is actually problem solving all the time. It's curveballs being thrown in your way, so it's just a matter of how you deal with it. And I love that. I love not knowing what's awaiting. I was really kicking against it because I don't feel I'm a technical photographer, I'm more spontaneous and I'm emotional about what I'm holding in my hand. So it's not important for me to have new gears or new, the, the best and the latest. But when we start testing the two systems, both of us testing it in different environments, lighting environments, and then after lunch I realise I don't want to touch the other system again. I'll be shooting with a Nikon D4 200F, is it the F2? Yeah. The F2, yes! With that you can shoot anything. And then Grant would say, let's test this other camera too with a, our old system. And my heart and my feeling didn't want to touch it anymore. So I knew this is our system and when we sat down and did the comparisons, Grant said, no, look at this. You can't compare. This is what we want now. So I think it's after we've done the test and you know I'm not really seduced as I said by a lot of equipment. So it's when we realized, looked at the end result and realized it's time for a change. We really saw baby powered, beautiful skin tones, not too yellow, not too magenta. And also seeing the contrast like the shadows, how beautiful that carries the information. And because I like shooting in natural, dark conditions, seeing how the high SA, ASA, you remember you couldn't believe it? Yeah, was 4, it 4,000. Was it 4,000? We blew it up, he couldn't even see a drop of grain. And if you start seeing the grain, it's not like a digital grain, it's a fabulous grain, it's like a full grain. Life changing is the years in San Francisco when I lived there. And then I came back because my mother got ill. And then my first big assignment was shooting Madiba for his campaign poster. And during that period, shooting all the ANC guys. And I, I left the country because of politics and coming back and shooting him and experiencing it, I realized I'm an African. I'm not going to the States, I'm not going anywhere, I'm staying here. So it was that assignment and of course, that gave me a lot of exposure. Then I got big advertising campaigns through that. So yeah, meeting Madiba and realizing I am African and I want to be here. I mean, the, that was really life changing. And uh, we do a lot of pro bono assignments, but when I, when I shot a beautiful girl for human trafficking, also afterwards, emotionally felt very drained. Do you know that's going on? It's like in this day and age. So I would say those.